And what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Carbiz. Right here we have the whole Carbiz family guys. We got Sean, Amir, Devin, and yours truly, Doran. And we're gonna go over some supercars. We've been looking at a couple supercars for both of us to kind of like get, you know, Amir's been looking for a supercar, yep. uh, Sean's been looking for a supercar, and then me and Devin have been looking for supercars as well. So we're kind of just gonna hammer it out and see what's on the market and what's a good price and maybe what we can get into in the future. So without further ado, let's get into it, guys. All right, so the first car on the list is definitely a McLaren 570S. I know there's a lot out there, but for the price, you can't go wrong. Like, 160 grand for an 18 convertible, you can't go wrong with that. I, it's like 100,000 off than what it was brand new. Spider's yeah, I definitely like the spider. Definitely, it's a hard top. Uh, well, I mean, you're getting, you're getting like Huracan numbers too. They're comparable exactly. to the Oh no, the 570 speed. surprisingly is very fast. It's speed. super fast. McLaren doesn't consider it a supercar, by the way. It's called their sports car. Oh, sports wow. series. Yeah, it's a sports no series. Way. Yeah, they don't consider it a supercar. I mean, I, I, and for, to me, in every way, it's a supercar. Absolutely. Because the power, the way it looks, the doors, I mean, you can't go wrong. Dude, doors that's, go that, up. that's the craziest thing. I mean, this is what, the, the technically the cheapest McLaren you can buy, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think that this, the 570S and the 570 GT, but you're getting the performance of the higher level supercar. So that's kind of interesting that they categorize it as that, but damn. It's 2018 McLaren 570S, 163. How many miles does this thing have? 5,400 miles, my goodness. That is super new. low miles. That that's thing's super actually clean. Like. Oh, oh my nice. gosh, that's actually super that's sick. Nice. So what's the second car? Oh, the Lamborghini Huracan is for sure outplayed, but it's like one of the best cars out there. Like the drive Absolutely. and the way it looks, like you, you can't go wrong with that car. That's the crazy thing is you can get Huracans right now for like 180K for a really, really clean Huracan. One thing I, I don't like about the Huracan mm -hmm. is if you don't have the Alcantara on the seats, if you have all the all leather seats, the all leather tends to wrinkle and it, really it becomes trash bad. really it bad. Really bad. But even in the Aventador, uh -huh. uh, surprisingly, like every Aventador I've seen with leather seats, 10,000 miles already looks like trash. But I've seen Aventadors with like over 20, 30K miles with the suede seats and they look right. brand new. That's true. That's true. So for me, it's like the Alcantara is like very important. Wow, Performante. Performantes are good. I found one for like 220, 230. Now the question is, Hurricane Performante or 720S? I'm kind of on the 720S Ooh. side. So I'm already doing, yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd, be on a seven, so. I'd be on a 720 wave because we've already experienced the Performante wave, so 720 for sure. Oh, wait, why is that 400? It's a twin turbo. It's a twin turbo, it's underground racing. Oh yeah. my gosh. It is not worth double the price, I'm sorry. Oh wow. But it has 10 miles. Wow. It's a really no. nice spec. 29,000 miles, 29, miles is not high miles. Houston's car has 130,000 miles. That thing is that's so the last long. time. Yeah, that's, that's true. true. Probably two years he ago. He has one that right has now. over 250,000 now. Oh, that's no the same way. Car. That's the, the red same one? Car. Are you sure? Yeah, it's the red one. Oh, that car remember. drives like as new still. Bro, that's, that's impressive. Bro, look at this. Look at the color. Guys, this is, spec. this is a this beautiful is color. Cal calipers, how they did the flag. The, yeah, bro, mm -hmm. you can't. That that is as Lamborghini as it gets in my opinion. Seriously, that's beautiful, dude. Okay. The miles, the price, the spec. I don't know. It was just one seventy four. It's a twenty fifteen six ten eleven thousand miles. But Sean's favorite part of this car is the interior. Yep. The Alcantara interior. Ooh, so it's let's orange check that out too. Oh, that orange, orange Alcantara. Freaking Alcantara steering wheel. Cheap. This is a beautiful Yeah, this is kind of a 10 out of 10 spec. Yeah. What he was saying is, dude, the Ferrari FF. Like, oh he, my. Just, he just found a twin. Look, it may not be the best looking car, but I kind of like it. Plus that you could have four people in the car. Dude. Let, let us know in the comment section what you guys think about the Ferrari FF. That's kind of a perfect rally car. Not going to lie. Imagine. Dude, and the V12 Ferrari V12? sound is sick. Oh my god, dude. That is very that true. so good. That would be a good Sean car. An FF? Yeah. I think you'd take the Aventador. No. I mean, look, look, Aventador is three times the price right now. That's for something true. nice for like a 14 or 15. Yeah. Two and a half. Beautiful. Dude, 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 can you, whoa, this is a oh very gosh. nice spec. That is a nice spec. Let's check out this. In two. Oh, okay. You know, I actually like the light brown right. Ferrari leather. It, it's, it, a lot of people say oh, it dates okay. the cars, but here, hear me out, hear me out. <clears throat> Mid 2000s, the Ferrari 360, 430, this was the color. This, this is color the is, This is the Ferrari yeah. interior. That's what I'm saying. I'm not. You know? I'm definitely not a fan of it. But for the price and the spec, I don't think you could go wrong, bro. Yeah. So 
McLaren 720S, I've been wanting this car for a minute, but I've been, the 570 is so nice too. A couple of my friends have a 570. I've driven it a few times and it does the job, I'm not gonna lie. It really does. And it's a big price difference, okay? Mm -hmm. For $110,000 less. Yep, used, you can get a 570. For that extra 110, we can get this FF that we just saw, okay? So would you rather have a Ferrari FF and a 570 or a 720? Right. I'm this leaving on true. the FF and the 570. Then, then we have two cars to work with. Oh, exactly. And, you know what I mean? And it's still less than the 720 at that point too, right? Oh, that one? Yeah, look at that. Spike. Oh, dude. That thing is sick. Dude. I love the color. I love the interior. Exterior carbon all around. Interior carbon. Now, that's just a beautiful car. I mean, this thing is just... Elegant. It's elegant and it's sexy. I like the front end of these cars, I really do. The 765 though, that, that car's rear end is a lot more aggressive, but then again, we're getting into a whole well, 765 LT is like SVJ. Yeah, right? exactly, that's like the top. I, I think top. I'd rather have an SVJ. I'd just get a 720S, I'd be happy with that. McLaren yeah, interiors are so like, spaceshipy. It's just so UFO-esque in my opinion, because it's just all technologically driven. It's a space coupe, bro. The space coupe. And it's the comfortable seats. That's space another. Coupe. Oh, those are the comfort <laughs> seats? Yep. Yeah, I have no clue. I, you know. The cockpit's so small in this car, too. That's what's crazy here. Like, really, almost shoulder, yeah, to, a, shoulder to shoulder. It's not bad. It's I've, I've, driven, good head. Like, I've driven choice car yeah. a lot from mm -hmm. the track, racetrack, and back, like, multiple times, and I, I, I like it, to be honest with you. Yeah. So that would be a 720. If I do get one, it would be, definitely be this one. The thing in LA is that there's so many everything, dude. Everyone has yeah. a 720. Everyone has sure. a Huracan. Everyone has a 570, everyone has a Ferrari. Like, actually, Ferrari is one of the, I would say, least. Yeah, I, right? I mean, a lot of people in Newport have Ferraris, but at the same time, that's one that's not as widely bought. I'd yeah. say the number one cars right now are like a 720 mm -hmm. and a Huracan. Those are Huracan, definitely. Yo, oh, dude, Huracan's <laughs> outdrawn by far. But. We'd not ignore most, my, one of my most favorite cars, which I almost bought last year. Sure. The 458 Italia. Absolutely. One of my favorite cars in the list for sure. And uh, one that we all love. The what are Ferrari you getting? 458. What are you getting? Your you know just you guys need to get something. What yeah, we're, something we actually we're on the market guys, so there might be an addition very soon here of what we're gonna get. And uh hint hint. So there's gonna be a lot of new cars. Yeah, a lot of new cars. Please refresh but, to the channel. Yeah, then, you know we're gonna have to wait on that, but it, it may or may not be a Ferrari. We'll see. I've driven the four five eight and the four eighty eight. Don't get me wrong, I really I love the 488, but if I had to choose drive-wise, I like the 458 more. Yeah. Okay, it's now the way everything. I don't know just... why, but I just like the 458 better. For me, I absolutely loved both cars. The 488 is so goddamn fast, and I thought it was just blisteringly quick, which it is, but the 458's naturally aspirated engine, you just can't beat the sound of that. So in my opinion, the 458 murders the 488. There's some good sounding 488s out there. Shout out Curly, he's got a fantastic one. But other than that, you know, I'm just not as much of a fan of the 488. Plus like IPE, I drove an IPE 458, so that it was, was freaking nuts. Like, it sounded incredible. F1 car sound. This is a prime example of a clean 458. 2013 458. 149. Spider. 149, it's a spider. That's a steal right there. Oh my gosh. Look at, look, look at hey, this. Make sure it's, it's a, a good spec. Make sure it's not a Miami rental car though. True. You don't True. want to be driving one of those. Well, what's the mile of that? The miles, okay. 11,000 miles is not 11,000 miles, dude. This that's is not, like that's a, not a rental car. Look at that uh, 2012 one. It's already done up. Too. Oh, you know what? I, I've actually talked to this guy on Instagram. He has this CBD company. Uh, shout out to that homie. He's actually a really cool guy and uh, looks like he's parting with this 458. I think it's a white color under it, if I'm not mistaken, under that wrap. But uh, that that's a clean car. What does the interior look like? Um, it's a I think black on black interior if I'm not mistaken. Let's find it. It's right. a white. Yeah, it's a white car under. And look at that, black Alcantara that's beautiful. interior. That seats. is beautiful. Yeah, is that the Daytona seats? Seats. Wow, yeah. that's that's a really clean 458. And it looks like it's lowered as well. You know what's very important very in these cars? Hmm. You got to get the upgraded speakers. Without oh, yeah, that, yeah. it's tripping. And, Ferrari, right. and the lift. I can't and believe Ferrari lift. doesn't. The lift is not important in 458 or 488. When we were looking last lift. year, that was a, we would look for the JBL badge on the speaker. JBL was the most important uh, thing, more than the lift. Cars. Oh, my head's still on that FF. Yeah. Really? Okay, a, okay. I think that's a shock. Let, let's take a second and talk about our consensus here and what we think about all these cars. 
Obviously the 458 is fantastic. The 720S, it's a little pricey because we can get kind of two cars. It's a good the same deal, price. but I just think what we're trying to do right now, yeah. I, I'd rather have two cars than one. I'd rather have like the 570 and the FF. Yeah, I, I or think a that would be and sick. The FF yeah. Instead of one seventy. Agreed. So everyone, we need to hear your input on this too. What do you guys like, the 570 or the Huracan? What do you think? Is there a car that matches the FF that we should look at? You know, what should we really be looking at? Let us know if we missed out on any of the interesting cars. And it's kind of generally like- There is one the car they're going to point out. Which one? GT3 RS 2016 and up. Oh my gosh, okay. It falls under the same price range. It's now, true. that's one we were all looking at a couple months back as we well, were. but I think we want something a little more exotic. And don't get me wrong, those cars are, they handle incredibly, they sound amazing. It's probably the best handling car out of all the cars we're looking at. Agreed, handling. agreed. Yeah. But I just want that edge of exotic, especially if we're gonna- And all, a lot of our friends have a GT3 and GT3 RS. Yeah, GT, Gigi, Grayson, uh -huh. Ani, Ani. They all have that car. Yeah, and, and, and if we do get a GT3 RS, Edmund. great. We can have another GT3 RS, but I think these exotic cars kind of- Manu has one too. Like yeah, Manu's got, well he's got a GT3, but same thing pretty same much, thing. you know. Let's look at a GT3 RS. So we'll, we'll just, be, yeah, let's let's take a look at the GT3. I know RS. Sean likes Porsches for a fact. I mean, there's no no. Look at the car that drives like a Porsche. I drove Ani's on track, and I was so impressed by that car. I have to say, it's exotic too. Don't get me wrong. It Don't bash exotic. me for saying it's not an exotic car. It is an exotic it, car in a sense. It, look, there's two colors I really like on this car. There's lizard green, and then there's lizard also lizard green is my favorite. Oh, dude, that's my favorite. But there's also the lava orange, which is absolutely amazing as well. This is a good car, but honestly guys, that FF for 109, that, like, that's really good. Like, we gotta count it. We're gonna count the GT3 RS because there's yeah, a ton of examples. Totally. Guys, there's there's a ton of them. If we look at this search section, there's all sorts of GT3 RSs for around the same price that we're looking at all these other cars in, and it's just as amazing of a car. That's kind of the picks, the 458, the 720, the FF, 570, 570 Huracan. Huracan. But yeah, guys, let us know what cars you want us to look at. Those are kind of a couple of the considerations that we have. Obviously, before we go purchase some cars, we're going to look at every single option, go test drive, but we, we just want to have a quick discussion of it. So guys, thank you for watching. Turn on the notifications for the channel if you haven't already. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you doing, guys? Come on, hit that subscribe button. Smash, smash it. that subscribe button. Smash it. Hit it. Bonk it. Wop it. Bop it, don't bop it, hit it, definitely subscribe. <laughs> I think you're good. <laughs> good enough, good enough. But thank you guys for watching. Once again, we're the Car Biz, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Peace! Put this in. <laughs> no, you're not. This is going in at the end. This is going. Yeah.